it's uh, what January 19th oh wait 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 oh yeah it's uh, April 19th To say one more day of this, tomorrow it's going to be blustery cold again, and then, what? Well, like intermodal trucker said, old man winter said it, I'm not ready to give it up, but it's kind of crazy, it seems like, you know, that is a weather change, you know, the, the, earth, the earth is changing. Seems like uh, we go from winter right almost to summer, and then we go from summer right into winter. It's like there's not much of a fall anymore. Last year I remember it was 70 degrees. I was harvesting potatoes. It was 70, and then the very after I was done, I was looking at the weather, and the very next day it, it, it snowed. And that was winter. So. Uh, Here we are. They're saying uh, tomorrow, cold, snowy, and then Saturday over the weekend in the 60s, which doesn't seem like uh, summer, but for, for us it will seem like summer. I got to get going. Um, I'm heading down to Marcellus because. I have another dentist appointment. So I done all the cleaning. That was painful. Um, so they they wanted me to go to a, a surgeon and take two molars out, but the surgeons don't take insurance. Oh, you have to pay for that. So. Those molars are going to just stay in there. But right now I'm getting uh, some cavities or uh, some fillings put in. What am I saying? I haven't um, getting yet. I think they're doing actually three. <laughs> so I'm off to the dentist. Now I get back, I'm gonna probably fire up well. I'm gonna go eat lunch and hang out, see if my mouth hurts. But and, and it and it might, I don't know. I'm not I don't know. Last time I went and had all this side down the right side. Um man, everything hurt for wow, it's been hurting almost all the way to now. <laughs> Using this special mouthwash that they it's medicated and all that. Uh, so we're up on the hill. You don't think it makes a big difference, but where I live, to I, well, I've gone what, a couple miles there, going down a hill, I'm going down another gorge, and uh, it makes a huge difference. You probably drop. Uh, I don't know, elevation wise. I, I, I don't know, really. <laughs> it seems like you drop them almost a mile when you jump from my farm down to the valley here. You go right downhill pretty steep. I've seen it where it's snowing up there and raining down here, or just oh, it's like a whole different world in, in, in a few miles just because you drop down this elevation. Anyway, uh, I got way off. I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty excited because uh, I have some good, good news. I got some good news uh, yesterday and talking to Mark what we're going to be doing. So I'll reveal all that. <clears throat> excuse me. Here in a little while, when it's time. But man, there's going to be some really big changes, at least for uh, the farm. 
pretty exciting. So I uh, hope everybody that's watching stays tuned because I I was like I was blown away by what he said. Holy macro! And uh, so I don't want to give all that away again. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't get laughing gas. <laughs> I was laying like laying straight down, man. I got up, I was like dizzy, but she novocaines you up. So this is a really good dentist. And, uh, of course, I'm a, a farmer, you know, so a farmer. Farmer! <laughs> Again. Um, and so Fidelis is a, um, a managed care kind of insurance, you know, the state controls what they pay, so she's going to get rid of that, which like oh come on man and this 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 dentist she, it, they're all women in there and they all they do really good work so I don't want to get rid of them so while she was putting these fillings in and I got silver fillings she said they last a long long time there's other ones but she said these ones last a long time silver she goes you got a lot of money in your mouth <laughs> like okay anyway I'm an AARP member you know and she said if you if you go to AARP and you can you can buy dental insurance from them and I might do that now she said you don't have to give up your Fidelis which is an go through the state um, so I can stay here if I get insurance through the AARP, which I'm thinking about doing because you know these are I mean, she's she's a great dentist. They work good. You don't feel a thing. I mean, she uses Novocaine. You know, after she you prick you know that first prick of the needle, you know, and that Novocaine. Nova Canes your, your face, which is why I always come out here like, well, I can't talk too good. Uh, you don't feel anything. She works good. She's fast. Gets everything good. And um, I, I don't want to give the dentist up. They're very good dentists. You know, the hygienist that she has in there is really good. And um, so, anyway. I don't know why I'm saying this. I think I... <laughs> after that, you know, because this Novocaine goes around your whole face, whatever side you... So you can feel it in your eye, too. <laughs> it's like your eye don't work. <laughs> I don't know. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Anyway, all right, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Maybe she put laughing gas in there. I don't know. Bye. <laughs> snow day? I don't know. That's a nice little tractor. I had this out today. Well, obviously. That ball that was on there. Now, the guy that we bought it from had put a, a ball on there, and he stripped it. Oh, my God. I had a heck of a time getting that off. But I was just running it around, and, you know, this tractor is going to be a nice little machine here. Um, it, it, uh, I had it in two-wheel drive coming through the mud. It just didn't even bat an eye. Excuse me. So I'm moving some wood, obviously, while I'm going up there. I'll take a piece with me, just so I'm not wasting a trip. So this is this is the this is the machine barn. Um, we're going to be using this area right here, where you're looking at. Uh, this will be where I can work on things. It's not going to be heated, but I can, when I'm working in here in the winter time, I can put a heater, you know, next to me or just uh, um, a kerosene heater around. I can shut that door, keep myself a little bit warm. But it has a nice cement floor and, you know, I'm working here. And of course, in its day, it probably housed hay up here, but we don't use it for hay, this, this barn, this particular barn. It just stores a lot of little different things. Right now we're putting 
all the wood that you can see what I'm, I'm bringing up here as I'm knocking it over. Um, this wood is down in that red barn. I don't know, maybe the camera, if I get close enough, I don't know. It's focusing that red barn past the silo. But the combine is, there's wood there. And I, uh, I just talked to uh, Carver Equipment just before I filmed this, started filming. And um, my mouth still isn't working from the dentist this morning. But um, he claims that uh, he, he, he got our check today for the shipping charge. And he said he was just at the warehouse. They were packing the two machines for delivery. Um, it's, uh, the, he said that they, it'll be shipped out of North Carolina tomorrow. Um, and he's going to email me the trucking company and uh, you know give me a phone number to, so I can be in touch with them. And uh, that's pretty cool, right? Here comes the first pieces of equipment. Our potato stuff, our potato harvester and uh, planter. Pretty excited. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to get that track for Johnny out. It's been sitting here for a while. I haven't used it much. And uh, so I ran it today and uh, you know, that thing's gonna work pretty nice in the field. Uh, I, I plan on, hopefully that tractor will do um, most of the bailing and um, because that tractor, this the, the, the Massey that we just got, the 1526, um, well it has the bucket on it and uh, we'll have the bale picker up. I, I don't know the, the proper term, <laughs> the bale you know, the thing that's going to go on the bucket to pick the bales up, you know. I, I, want to, I want to talk to that guy, too, see if they actually got one put together. In fact, I think I'll give him a buzz right now, see what's going on. But, um, you know, if not, then I'll have Mike over there make something that can pick bales up, you know. I'll be disappointed if they didn't make it, because that was a big thing. Remember my conversation in the video with them, and... I uh, I want to see how that's going, and if they actually are going to are are going to make one. And I haven't heard from them since I talked to them last time about um, the the pieces of equipment we were going to. We already put a down payment on them, and so they have that. They put them pieces of equipment aside for us already. So so the snow is really bothering me. I look at it. <laughs> a joke. Anyway, um, I like, like I said, I like this little Johnny. It's, uh, it's going to work well. And I think what I want to do also, besides using it for bailing, you know, we were talking about that, so I got off track. Uh, using this Massey, this one will probably do a lot of the cutting, you know, uh, mowing of the hay, and uh, that kind of thing, raking. And uh, when the, that one's bailing hay, the John Deere, you know, you can pick hay up with the Massey then, you know, instead of, because, you know, we could, you could throw bales on a wagon or something and bring them back too with that John Deere, but, you know, it'd be better off just putting the baler on it and bailing hay. And I think I, I, uh, I, uh, I like it for probably doing the potato planting also. Um, you just put the planter on it and let her go. She's, you know, it's a nice pulling tractor too. And um, the planter does not use any uh, power takeoff stuff. It just uses ground drive, like most planters do. And uh, we'll see how that goes, though. But I, I like that. I think that'll work good for the the planter. And um, and uh, I, I probably will do a lot of the manure hauling with it when a spreader comes because <clears throat> uh, it's, um, it's again if I'm using a bucket I got to have the Massey you know you know that can load uh, manure because it has the bucket loader on it you know right 
and then just have the John Deere hooked up to the spreader and just take off with it. It's a good tractor. So, anyway, uh, I gotta get this unloaded, and I don't know what time it is, but I do want to give that Tom out there a call. So, it's already 4:30, but probably 3:30 out there. Let me give him a call. All right, I'll talk to you guys. Tomorrow. All right. So I just got off the phone with uh, Tractor Tools Direct, and uh, they have three projects going on. Well, two right now. Um, a rate of it's a it's a better machine, and that's for uh, gardening kind of things where you can have raised beds. Um, you know, you put it behind uh, your tillers, their disc harrows anyway, and then it raises the the dirt, uh, and it has it makes it a flat flat top for raised beds for gardening mostly and then they're also going to be the next project he said probably Monday they're going to be working on the 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 thing I'm work you know that my idea um, about picking bales up you know with your bucket loader so that's the update on that uh, they said uh, the engineer is going to be giving me a call uh, have you know, asking some questions, what I think about it, and you know, maybe what would work on this, this kind of equipment. You got to remember, I have you know people with the tractors like the Massey here, that, um, with a they're not large tractors. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, so he's going to wonder, you know, the bucket sizes and everything. He should know because their equipment is made for you know tractors like that one and my Massey. And the balers and the cutters and everything, so he'll have some idea. But he's going to give me a call, and uh, I'm hoping to have one. He said they should have it by May, you know, the middle of May, and uh, I get the prototype, and then they're going to um, have it. T I'll be testing it for them and all that. So we'll see how that goes. But that's the update on Tractor Tools Direct. All right, talk to you soon.